everybody, this is Dave here, and I'm going to walk you through how to root and unlock your HTC One by Sprint. First thing you're going to want to do is go to the htcdev.com website, and you're going to log in. If you don't have a login, you're going to go ahead and register. Once you've registered, go back to the main page and click on the Unlock Bootloader and get started. You're going to see a list on your right-hand side to select your device, and the device is not there at this time. So you scroll down to the bottom and go to all other supported models. Click on the button underneath. When it comes up, if you're sure you want to do this, you're going to click yes. If you had the same problem I did, uh, it kind of locks up here. And when it continues to run, uh, I had to go to my URL and go to htcdev.com slash process slash legal to get me those next options I had to proceed on. Check them both. Hit proceed. This uh, starts off telling you the steps of how to remove your battery and get into recovery, which we're going to be doing very soon. So if you're unaware, it's the power down and the, I'm sorry, holding power and volume down. Once you've done that, hit proceed. This walks you through how to install the ADB and fast boot. If you've never done that before, make sure you read these options. If you're not new to doing this and you have uh, done ADB before, you should be fine to scroll down to the bottom and proceed to the next page. I use the C Android, I'm sorry, C root, not Android. Uh, you can get these files at root htc1 sprint.zip off the XDA. Uh, once you've gone ahead and rebooted your phone into uh, Fastboot into your recovery, you're going to select Fastboot is when you're going to go ahead and plug your USB cable in and wait till it comes up as Fastboot USB. Once you have, you're going to open up your command prompt and you're going to go to the folder that has, as I said, I've done root here. Uh, it was Android on the other one. You're going to type in the command Fastboot OEM get underscore identifier underscore token. You're going to go ahead and hit enter, and that's when you're going to see this come up when you're going to want to right-click anywhere on, this, on there, hit mark. Grab from that first arrow of those five all the way to the bottom five arrows there. Make sure you click at the top, right-click, and go to edit copy, or you could hit enter. That'll copy it. You're going to go back to the page where you've hit continue and go down to the 10th uh, step where you'll end up pasting that into my device token paste there and hit submit. Once you've done that it's going to send you an email and that email is going to have your unlock and it's also going to have a link there. You're going to download the unlock code bin to the same folder uh, that you have your ADB and everything in which was the same one we uh, were using before. Once you've downloaded it click that link and you're going to type in the command fast boot flash unlock token unlock once you've done this it's going to pop up on your phone you're going to want to uh, hit the rocker switch to yes and the power button this is going to unlock after that you're going to want to do a fast boot reboot dash boot loader uh, that's going to reboot your uh, bootloader and once you've rebooted your phone you're going to go back and select recovery and at this time you're going to have a team win uh, recovery project you're going to want to go and go down to reboot first and system and at this point if it's your first time it's probably going to have the ask you about installing super user and tell you that once you do it you're going to need to install the full version. I tried the TWRP that didn't work for me so I had to do the go play where you'll go to super SU and update it. I hope this video helped you guys out if so please give a thumbs up and leave a comment on anything I might edit. Thanks.